Hi everybody, my name is Noah and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing an unboxing of the Nespresso Virtuo Next. I don't know, I got this on Black Friday from my Target, originally priced at like uh, $215 or something. I got it for $160 and then also like a discount on top of that because I have a rewards card, whatever. So today I'm very excited. There, This is something I've been wanting for a long time because I love, love, love coffee as a lot of you probably know. Um, and so um, I wanted to treat myself this holiday season and get myself something that I know I I will love. We're gonna unbox and then we're gonna have a cup of coffee in the morning though, it's nighttime right now. Um, I just wanna apologize in advance for my backdrop. My apartment is a mess. I just moved back up from uh, Thanksgiving break. So like my bike, there's just, and my ugly couch, there's a lot going on, but who cares? We're gonna get into it. Uh, <gasps> okay, okay. So we have our instruction booklet and our um, warranty things, I guess. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take the first thing out that I see, which is this. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like the top or something. I don't know. <gasps> okay, this is my coffee pack. Very excited. There's a bunch of different flavors in here. I think there's, okay, there's 11, 11 capsules of coffee in that box. Oh my, oh my, things are stuck. Things are falling, things are stuck. Okay. Wow, this is really heavy. Here is the machine. It looks amazing in all of its glory. The water tank is in the back here. And I believe, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The water tank's in the back. Um, and then we have like our brewing and things up front. And then it also came with the Aerochino 3, which is like a milk frother. It heats your milk and froths it for you, which I'm also very, very excited to try out. Yeah, that's, I'm so excited for that. That's the one reason why I wanted this bundle for that reason. What is this? Uh, Virtual Next Quick Start Guide. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna read this. Um, so basically the instructions are easy. All you need to do is choose your coffee, insert the capsule, press the brew button and enjoy. But we have a rinse guide to clean out the machine, which is what we're going to do today. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Sorry if you can see into my dirty sink, um, but I just moved it to where it's going to be for when I use it. And so far, so good. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't really know how I wanna place it. I feel like I wanna place it more so over by the wall. Um, I figured out this is the drip tray, which is kind of what I thought it was anyway. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's like the top or something. I don't know. And if I have, whoa, if I have a mug with my coffee in the morning, um, I am going to put it here. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, but you can take this off which is what I'm gonna do to clean it. I have my, I have a mason jar um, that I used to brew cold brew in, so I'm gonna use that as the cleaner for right now. It is plugged in, um, the, yeah. Okay, press, press button to turn machine on, press. It's blinking, it is on. Okay, and then it said, and then if we unlock it, it opens very, very abruptly. That's the only thing I don't like. It doesn't open like nice and cute and smooth, but that's okay, lock and then press button three times. One, two, three. Did it work? Should I hit it three more times? Alrighty, well, here's our frother unboxing. So I'm gonna open that up while this is doing its thing. Sorry if you can't hear me over the loud ruckus. Okay, so you can do a warm milk froth or a cold milk froth. The warm one, you press the button quickly and it will light up red and start. It takes about a minute. And then for a cold milk froth, it takes about a minute, but you hold the button in for two seconds. Clean it directly after every single use. No dishwasher. This makes sense now. The button was blinking and it wasn't doing anything. So I just clicked the button three times for cleaning and now it's making noise. So I think now it's cleaning before uh, it was just heating up, which is why it was really loud. Okay, I don't know what's going on. We're getting a red trouble light. It's like going for two seconds and stopping. Maybe it knows that it's not milk in there. Okay, now the water's moving. I don't know what's going on with this machine. <gasps> oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> the whisk of the frother wasn't on the correct. Okay, now it's gonna work. Oh, that was silly of me. It's spinning. <gasps> wow, crazy. This, I don't know what's going on with you. One, two, three. Now it says it's heating up again. Oh jeez. How am I supposed to clean it if it's not gonna work? I'm doing something wrong. I have to be doing something wrong. That frother is very quiet though. Is the water not installed correctly? Like, did I mess something up along the way? Oh my God, it's so hot. 
Okay, vibes, cool. You are silent, why? Open. Okay, we opened it, we're putting up, maybe it just needed a good open shut vibe. I don't know, all these noises sound the same. And then it's gonna stop. Press three times. Am I not counting to three correctly? What is going on? Press three times. I did. That's all it says. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe I just didn't click it quick enough? Holding the button. Lock, unlock, and hold the button. Press. Maybe that will work. Press the button. It sounds like it wants to come out and it's just like not. You know? All right, well, we're gonna go figure this out. Thank you for watching thus far. Um, I'll be back. Many hours later. Oh my God. I've been going at this for a freaking hour. I didn't do anything different. Literally nothing and look. Absolutely nothing. And here we are just happy as a clam doing the job that you needed to be doing this whole time. It's supposed to do this for seven minutes. Ah! Oh! I need a backup. I need a backup container. It's like the episode, you can't see me. It's like the episode of Wizards of Waverly Place where the frozen yogurt just never stops coming out and they're like, get the bucket. Oh my God, glory, glory, glorious day. This took five ever. I don't know when I started this video, but yeah, it's been about an hour of me fit, try, just hitting buttons over and over and over again, trying to figure it out and it wouldn't work. I got it paired to Bluetooth, kind of, but um, I can't get it paired to my Wi-Fi. So I don't know what that's about. That's another issue, but this is glory. This is a glorious sight right now for me. Okay, so it works. That's all I care about because that means my coffee will work in the morning. If this can happen, then I'm fine. <gasps> Pretty! Look at that packaging. All the different flavor and types of coffees that they have online. Little bubble wrap to keep them safe. Oh! oh, tell me that's not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your life. So we have a lot to choose from. There's a lot here. Columbia roast, espresso. All right, so I think this is the one I'm going to go with tomorrow. Don't know the flavor, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. This one's pretty. This is gonna be what I'm drinking my coffee in tomorrow. That's all I'm filming. I'm so sick of this machine. Love it, can't wait to try it. It's very warm, um, but I'm sick of it for the night. The next day. All right, y'all, hello. You can't see me right now because you're looking at the coffee machine, but today it is finally time. I think everything is finally hashed out a little bit. We are going to brew some coffee and then I'm gonna take you and we're gonna froth some foam on top. I'm very excited. We're gonna do like a peppermint vibe today to get into the holiday spirit. So firstly, I am going to put the drip tray at the bottom here and then put my mug right on that. We are going to power this bad boy on. It might have to heat up. I don't really know the protocol there. So we're gonna wait and see here for a second. Maybe not. I mean, it's not hot, so it will have to heat up. We're gonna open up the lid here. We're gonna pop it's dripping water everywhere, that is okay. We're gonna pop the, we're doing the Melo, Melo Zio today, and we're going to push down. It just popped the top, which is a good sign. Lock it into place, and brew. Now while we let that, I'm gonna go and get my materials out to froth, and then we're gonna froth together. And it's pouring, and it looks freaking phenomenal. Are you kidding me? Let's get a shot in there, in the cup. Can we get in the cup? So it gave me about half a cup. If you can see in there, it's it's look it looks like it's slowing down, which is fine because this cup is big and like I said they want strong doses and little amounts of drink versus a lot. So here's my arrochino. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a dash of heavy whipping cream. So that will be our base for the froth, and then we are going to do just a good bit of almond milk so that there's some more there. And then a dash, literal dash, of peppermint mocha coffee creamer to make it get that flavor. And we're gonna do a hot froth today, so we're gonna hit the button once, and it's going to do its thing in there, spinning around, it's creating a hot froth. Okay, the froth is done, we don't have much time because you have to pour it in within 10 seconds. So, let's try. It's already, there's such a foamy layer on top, it's crazy. We're gonna try it. Very strong, very good foam. Smells heavenly. We're gonna pour it in quickly. <gasps> Are you kidding? Oh my God. <laughs> I could have done, I wish you can see this right now. 
If I was talented, I could have done latte art because look at what I did on the top. That's so funny. And so the milk's hot too, so this is not gonna be a good experience for me. It's very hot all around, but I'm gonna take a sippy. Okay. Wait, I'm like not mad. I'm not a hot coffee kind of guy. Like I can always drink it and this stuff is so good that I, it will like, like I will enjoy drinking hot coffee, but I just want to throw some ice cubes in here or I should have done like a cold froth. Can you hear that? Listen. That's the foam moving around in my microphone. That is insanity. Okay, so tomorrow the game plan is I'm gonna pick out a coffee tomorrow before I go to class because I have class tomorrow and I'm gonna brew it over ice and then we're gonna see what happens. It's so crazy because it's like hot, but it's so manageable. Thank you Nespresso for gifting me, even though I bought it with all my own money, uh, but gifting me with such greatness, such beauty, such amazing right here. Um, I'm very excited again to try it over ice. If you care about what I think about that, let me know. I'll let you know. And that's pretty much all I have for you. Thank you for seeing all of my struggles in the beginning half of this video. It all worked out in the end. And I love this thing. I really do. Uh, I don't recommend the complicating setup. I wish there were more buttons on the machine um, so it could be more user friendly instead of one button that you either have to hold in, hit so many times, or, you know, that's all I got for you. I love you. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, that extra creamer made it so good. Ah! <laughs>